choke that thing. The one dollar frog. <laughs> yes! Bro, this is my pink fish. There's a cast after my board. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at him choke! <laughs> Oh man, Norm, what are you doing, dude? Just putting on the shoes. We're starting off the video for today right here, putting Norm yes, on the sir. spot with his little bare feet action going on. No so, socks. No socks. No look, socks look at the weather today, guys. Very cloudy, overcast. It's about to rain here soon. As you guys can tell, it was raining last night. Me and Norm are trying to get one final video in before he heads back in town, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So what's going on, people? Welcome to another video. So today, what I wanna be doing is a cheap versus expensive fishing challenge. As you guys can tell, we are here at the Wally World. It's all, signs Wally all the there. <laughs> World today and uh, I'm gonna be going in there picking a cheap versus expensive lure because you guys absolutely tore up the last one it's at about 30,000 views it's been averaging like 2,000 views a day it's just going up from here and I cannot thank you guys enough for that we're gonna be doing another one I do not know what we're gonna be picking possibly a frog I, I just do not know but we're gonna go in there we're gonna find out let's go ahead and get this video started so we're gonna be heading to the fishing fishing section my goal is to get a topwater frog that, that is my main goal. So we're gonna look for, and see, I mean, I really don't know. I believe they have some frogs that are like a dollar here. If they do, that is probably what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna get an expensive one that's probably around, you know, 10 to $15. I, I really don't know. I don't know the prices here at Walmart, but we're walking back to the fishing section now. We're gonna go take a peek. Oh man, everybody, here's the juicy fishing section. They're like, oh, they're pretty sold out. As you can tell, they got the lemon peppers on deck. They got the four inch and the six inch, man. The lemon pepper lizards, guys. You guys haven't checked out that video. You guys need to go check it out because it's just absolute fire. So here are the frogs. What do we got here? We got some some booyahs. That one's about three dollars. Got some lunker hunts. We got an eight dollar one down there by KBD one. That's probably the expensive one that we're gonna go with. But where are the cheap ones? That's the question, guys. I didn't think they had it, but guess what? Oh man, juicy. The one dollar frog right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You got the one dollar frog, the old green one. Now let's see, let's see what expensive ones that they have. All right, so this is our selection. So you got little striking ones down here and then you got lunker hunts and then you have, I have no idea what brand that is. Then you have an old Booyah. So the Booyah is $3. Then you have the Lunker Hunt, that's about six to $7. And then you have the KVD one, that's about $10. I mean, they're not expensive as the Spros, but you got those down here. So as you guys can tell, that's pretty much the same color as this one, that little green one down there is $10. So that's what we're gonna be going with. Let's grab this bad boy and get a little look. So these are two frogs right here. As you guys can tell, KVD, $10 frog. You got that little old green color pattern. Then you got this one that attempted that KVD green color pattern and it just did not, <laughs> it did not work out. This one's only a dollar. This one's $10. Man, this is what we're probably gonna be going with. It's actually perfect because they're both the same color. Man, I'm really excited about this. We're gonna have to get out there and see how these bad boys are gonna do. So Norm right here is actually looking for some dollar lures because on his channel, he's doing a dollar lure challenge. So you guys gotta go check that out after this video. Don't, don't pull off the video now, but after this video, you gotta go see my but my buddy Norm. You, at the end, you gotta go see my buddy Norm. He's actually like looking through all these. All right, guys. No, always got the white monster. Then we got the two frogs right here. Expensive and cheap in there. I'm shutting the door. Norm has redone his intro like 72 times. Do you get it? I'm stuttering. I hate myself. One last go. One last go. I got it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Freaking hilarious. But we're about to head over to the pond. We're going to be doing this. If you guys want to see more cheap versus expensive fishing challenges, let me know below on what type of cheap versus expensive ones because actually I had a lot of fun filming this the last time with the swim bait one. And the frog one I feel like is just going to be awesome. Hopefully that cheap frog is actually going to work. I'm, I'm going to pray for that. But let's go ahead and get to the pond. All right, everyone. Just got to our first location. Grabbing my Walmart bag and my old GoPro, and I need to grab a few batteries as well. All right, people, we're about to rig up for right now. I know you guys enjoyed that juicy shot. <laughs> 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 I had to say something. It's just juicy. Let me grab my rod. 
grabbing my scissors out real quick. So right here, I actually got my uh, Defy Black by 13 Fishing. It's actually a medium heavy, but I'm just gonna roll with it today. Got that on some braid right there, Concept A. As you guys can tell, I have a buzz bait on right now. I'm gonna be cutting this off. I'm gonna start off with the expensive frog first, just to see if I can catch some on it today, because praying that I do, you know, it could be really tough, we never know. So here's the cheap top water I bought, the, the inexpensive one. As you guys can tell, it's not the best. Norm said it is really bad, so I'm kind of worried. Here's the striking one. I'm gonna throw this one first, see if we can get a big honk daddy. That'd be amazing if we can catch a big one today for this video. As you guys can tell, this is a little trick that you guys can do. When you first buy a frog, you see how the legs are super long? I tend to cut them down. So what I do is I grab both of them right here. I pull it down about an inch and a half. I'm gonna take my scissors and simply cut off all that right there. And then it leaves it with these little, see that right there? That is perfect, that is like the perfect length. It's about an inch. Right there, it's got the little legs. You don't have these like long, you know, all this stuff, all this little skirt, all this little silicone on the end. So Norm, you're actually the first YouTuber I've ever taken here. I feel honored. I mean, honored. I was telling Norm about it. And this is literally where I started bass fishing. This is where I caught my first bass ever. This is where kicking their bass originated. Me and my grandpa used to come here all the time and fish. And there used to be absolute toads, like nine and 10 pounders. I was telling him with our five best fish of the day, we would have like 30 pounds on literally a night crawler and a bobber. And now it's just a lot slower, but there's still some quality fish in here. But Norm, show show my viewers what you're throwing for your video. We're starting out with the $1 swim bit, or the one. <laughs> We're starting out with the $1 spinnerbait, guys. I have like seven $1 lures that I have to get through. I'm excited. This pond's smaller than I thought, but it looks really juicy. Well, dude, let's get it started. All right, people, the expensive frog is up first. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get us a good one. Nice, Noah. Oh, oh, oh. dude, he's slamming, Norm. How am I not getting slammed? This is unbelievable, honestly. Right there. Dude, that was amazing. Yes! <laughs> On the old KVD sexy frog. Oh man, that was sweet. I popped that thing once right by that tree and he just slammed it. Nothing big, but man, that was just awesome. That blew up right there. Just sucked this thing straight down. Literally, look at the head. <laughs> he like messed my thing all up. First fish of the day, we got the monkey off our bag. Maybe we're gonna start catching him. This looks so juicy for the frog. There I better be fish here. My heart is racing. I don't know how he didn't have it. That looks so good. Oh man, oh my gosh, first fish. First fish, guys, on the frog. This is an expensive one still. On a new area I've never been to. Second fish of the day, guys, not a bad one. Let's get him back in the water. Yes, he's on the bank. He's on the bank. There we go, baby. Look at that fish on the frog. Absolutely hammered. I don't know if you guys saw it. He knocked it all the way out of the water. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Look at that beautiful fish. That is a quality one right there. Let's get him back in the water. Oh man, it's a done deal. There he is. There we go, baby. Fish number three out here on this pond. Gosh, you can tell he's living up in this crap. What color of his skin. There we go, a little baby guy. Let's get him back in. Done deal, homie. Yep. Oh my gosh, did he choke it. Freaking choked that frog. <gasps> Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at him choke that thing. That is insane. Man, if we could get a fish to eat our baits like that every single time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is awesome. What a beautiful bass right here. Fish number four of this pond, five total. We're gonna have to switch over to that cheap frog here in a little bit. Let's go, baby. Let's see if we can get every single time. What in the world? Let's see if we can get another one. Let's see if we can get her. Oh, it's a giant. He was literally next cast. <laughs> look at him choke. <laughs> look at that baby. Oh man, look at that, guys. That is beautiful. 
cannot beat frog fishing when you're catching fish like this. Oh man, Norm, solid. Not having the block. Pushing five. I thought he was like a seven pounder there for a minute, dude. Look at this freaking toad. Nice one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get another one. This is my fifth fish. It was a cast after my fourth. Gosh, man, that is beautiful. Let's get a release on this guy. Sweet. All right, guys, beautiful bass right here. About to push him five. Oh man, I thought he was a lot bigger, but let's get back out there and see if we can catch another one. There he goes. Oh, there she goes, oh, man, dude. Guys, that was sweet. That kind of that really pumps me up because that first bite I had, I really believe was about the eight eight to ten pounders, the biggest blow up I've ever had on any bait. And man, there's some giants in here. <laughs> me and Norm are about to wax them. Guys, as you can tell, I got my cheap frog right here. We're ripping it off, we're in Thailand. It's really hard when I'm catching fish like that to say, I'm gonna whip out this dollar frog. <laughs> it's really hard, but I mean, it's a part of the challenge. We gotta make this a challenge. We gotta see if we can catch a big one on this old dollar boy. So let's go ahead and catch some. Tying this cheap frog on right here. I'm kind of worried about it. We're gonna catch fish. We're gonna catch some fish on it. I really wanna keep throwing that expensive one since I've literally just caught those two back-to-back -back casts and one giant. You can just tell this thing, as you can tell, it's moving around. It's not gonna be the best, but Man, we're gonna give it a try and see if this thing actually catches some fish. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna do a little, you know, review on both of them and kind of see my honest opinion. But I can't really say anything about this frog till I'll throw it. So let's get out there. Got another one on the cheap frog. On the cheap frog. Oh yeah, baby. We're on the board with the cheap frog. Fish number six total. One on the cheap frog, five on the regular. Oh man, this is insane. Oh man, that's sweet right there, guys. Little guy, but man, we got one on the inexpensive frog. I feel like I'm about to get slobbered on. Shalt. Yes, I am. I got another one on the cheap frog. I was about to get slobber donked. Not by a slobber donkey, but I did get slobber donked for sure. Let's get back out there, baby. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I knew it was gonna be a done deal. He just didn't have it all the way. There's gonna be another one there. Dude, it's crazy, man. Third one on the cheap old frog. Another little guy, that's three little guys on the cheap frog. Guys, this is so much fun. They're absolutely, literally hammering that frog. I mean, they, you cannot beat a frog, but I absolutely love throwing a frog, especially in ponds like this. It is just a blast. Let's get back out there and catch another one. Fish number four on the cheap frog. What is going on? Oh man, those nine fish guys. Four on the cheap one, five on the expensive one. You wanna throw this one? Oh, I'm good, dude. I'm gonna try to catch one on this one. Are you sure? Yeah. You know you can catch one on this once you. Yeah. I'm wiping them on my pants, bro. I'll probably smell like a straight All right, everyone. I'm actually gonna be cutting off this $1 frog. It, it keeps kind of sinking on me. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I caught four on it, um, five on the other. It's just, man, I don't know about this thing. And the hooks aren't as sharp. I don't know, we caught four on it, but we're gonna switch back over, we'll probably switch back over to this again. We're gonna kind of go back and forth and do our little thing. Oh, he's behind it. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are freaking killing this toad. It's 10 fish, what the heck? All right, everyone, this is fish number 10, I believe. Fish number five on the, six on this. And I got four on the cheap one, but God, look how fat that guy is, a little, a little fatty. As you all can tell, I have the $1 frog right here, and then I have the $10 frog. When you're comparing these pretty much, I mean, you can really tell a big difference. This one you can tell is made a lot better. You know, you can tell it's a lot more rough and it's not gonna break. This one's just more, I don't know. And the colors are a lot, really off. You can tell, that, that's the thing. When you're gonna buy a cheap bait, you can just tell that the colors are a little off. The hook's definitely not as sharp. The silicone little skirts, you know, just, are weird like the colors are just weird and then you can tell by this the hook is actually very look i mean it just picked up on my finger like exactly and if you try to do that it it's just not existing it's not working so if i could compare these two and pick one of them i i think it's definitely worth the money to buy you know the ten dollar one yes you can buy 10 of these but this guy is going to last you a lot longer it's going to walk a lot better this one actually did get filled up with a lot of water and the head was dipping down so this one by far 
I would definitely choose. Well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you guys haven't seen my $1 versus $100 swim bait video, I will link it above right here. Be sure to go check that video out. It is absolute fire. A bunch of big fish action and that whole deal. But if you guys want to see another cheap versus expensive challenge, comment below which one you would like to see next. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Click the subscribe button and click the little bell so it sends you post notifications. Be sure to subscribe to my boy Fishing with Norm and I will catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the brother man, uh. I cried cars getting hella bears, uh. I got a bra from the motherland, uh. I got shooters with us, uh. I get it, get it, uh. Anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I cried cars cook every day, uh. I get money, uh. Every day, uh.